First platoon, listen up. Sergeant Moody owes me 50 bucks because it looks like Operation Overlord was a success. Our British and Canadian friends took most of their objectives. And except for Omaha, all the beach landings went pretty smoothly. The airborne was misdropped everywhere, but the men formed mixed units and accomplished most of the airborne D-Day objectives. I am extremely proud of all of you. As you know, Sergeant Moody and Privates Elder and Martin broke through German lines to get word to battalion headquarters. If it wasn't for their success, HQ probably would not have sent the reinforcements that helped us hold St. Mariglis. At headquarters, Moody, Elder, and Martin were assigned to silence a German battery at Braycor Manor and faced an entire platoon of Germans with only a handful of men. Well, it seems that someone at command noticed your actions. Our unit has been detached from the rest of the 101st so that it can be used for some special missions behind enemy lines. I suggest that you brush up on your German, gentlemen, and enjoy your R&R &R while you can. There's an MG-42 on the left, with a guardhouse on the right. They didn't spot me. Let's hope. Captain Price and Major Ingram? Probably in the big house up the road. Martin, you take point and knock out that 42. Harding and Brooks, go get the truck. Meet us at the front of the chateau. Everyone else, follow Martin. Move!
get in there, grab any docks, knock out their communications, then meet back up with us. Sergeant Moody... <laughs> Stop now! Bryce and Ingram are behind these doors! Stand back! We're gonna blow them! Goodness me, Americans!
made quite a racket, didn't you? That's quite all right. Uh, I can still walk. Captain Price, Captain Foley. Where's Major Ingram? They moved him to a camp. Not to worry. I overheard where. Trucks up front, sir. Go, Excellent. go, go! Help Captain Price out the window. He's been hurt. Let's pile in. We're getting out. Captain, what about Major Ingram? We'll be back for him. Get in. <laughs> 